Hi, and welcome to this section of the Pre-Algebra Tutor. And in this section, we're going to wrap up Pre-Algebra with sort of the pinnacle of everything we've been building up until now, and that is the idea of solving an equation. So specifically in this section, we're going to be solving single-step equations. That means these equations, I don't want to call them simple, because, you know, everything when you first learn it is a little bit difficult until you really understand it. But they're only going to involve one, maybe two very simple steps most of the time one step to solve. But that doesn't mean that you can just relax and crack your knuckles. You really have to understand what you're doing here and, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to teach you that. So what is an equation? Basically an equation has an equal sign in it. When you have some algebra uh, expression on the left hand side with a variable and you've got some stuff on the right hand side, maybe some numbers, maybe some more variables, then you're said to have an equation. So what you have is some unknown value of the variable, you know, x or a or b or whatever it is, and your job is to try to solve for that value. So you don't know what it is. It could be the temperature in this room. Maybe I have something that, that equates the temperature in this room or the speed of a baseball. Maybe I want to solve for that speed. How do I manipulate this guy to solve for the thing I'm trying to solve for, the variable? And so what you need to realize is you have complete latitude to do everything you want within reason. So there's three things you need to know to be able to ace this entire section. The first thing is the goal of solving an equation is to isolate the variable that you want on one side of the equal sign by itself. Everything else you want to push to the other side of the equal sign. So in the end you want to get x is equal to 4 or x is equal to 5. So the way you do that is you move x to one side, move everything else to the other side. Uh, second thing is, in order to do that, um, you can do anything you want to both sides of that equation as long as you do it to both sides. You can add or subtract numbers to both sides of that equation as long as you do it to both sides, like seesaw. You can multiply, divide both sides of that equation as long as you do the same thing to both sides. And the final thing you need to know is that in order to pull it off, sort of the final piece of the puzzle, addition is the opposite of subtraction and multiplication is the opposite of division. So depending on what you have, if you have an addition going on here, you might want to get rid of it. So you subtract it to get rid of it and push it to the other side. If you have multiplication going on, you might do some division to get that guy and get rid of it and isolate the variable like you want. So you can talk about this stuff all day. The easiest thing to do is just start working some problems. So let's do that right now. The easiest equation you could probably have would be something like this. x minus 3 is equal to 9. How would you solve this equation? Remember, the goal is to get x by itself. You want him by himself. The only thing standing in your way is you have this minus 3 here. So what you want to do is you want to, because you have subtraction, addition is the opposite of subtraction. So you want to add 3 to both sides. The only thing different between this line and the previous line is I've added 3 here and I've added 3 here. The equation is the same, but I've added 3 to both sides, so I haven't really changed the equation. Although I've changed the way it looks, because negative 3 plus 3 is 0, so on the left I'll have x, on the right I will have 12. And that would be the answer. You have solved this equation. x is equal to 12. This could be the speed of a baseball. This could be, you know, how high up you must go in an elevator for something. This could be the temperature in a room. But you've solved for it by using the rules of algebra. Now, you can always check your work with equations because you get an answer, you can plug that answer right back into the equation. 12 is x, so we say 12 minus 3 is 9. 9 equals 9. That's good. That's our answer. 